Hello YouTube and welcome to the start of a brand new Let's Play for Civilization 6. I'm the game mechanic uh, and we've got a spicy start on our hands. Uh, pretty cool looking stuff. We're equatorial with all of the jungle. Uh, so we, we, we were hopefully in the middle of a big, uh, well not a big Pangea, a small Pangea map. Uh, but I'm hoping that all of the other civs are on our home continent because I really want to use our unique unit. That is my, my very purpose in this game. There's not a lot that can change my decision about settling here. So I think I'm going to settle before moving the warrior. And usually I do that in the opposite order. But there's no way I'm not starting with a 3-3 three, three tile. So we have five food and four production. It's like settling a plains hill uh, and having a little extra food as well. So I'm pretty happy about that. Pretty happy about that. <laughs> Thank you, crazy guy. Yes. I will I will let chat answer that for you, John. Otherwise, I'm starting this video with a rant about industrial zones. And and I don't think people want that as much as as, as I might want them to. We have we have farm tiles and spices to improve. So I think going pottery first makes sense. There might be horses here, there might be horses here. There might be iron here. So I think we go pottery. Note that animal husbandry really wouldn't get in the way of um, any of the districting that we're, we're liking, we're, we're likely to want to do. Um, and there might be an argument for these becoming two, two tiles. Like we've got a good three tiles. Uh, and it'll be a while before we need a fourth. But I still think I'm going pottery first. Okay, so some coast. We can deal with a little coast. Hey, oh, from Dem Man of Mike, thank you so much for the three months. Welcome on back. I appreciate it. Hey, oh, from Denmark. Thanks for being awesome. Thanks hey. for being you less than three. Aw, thank you very thank you for the kind words. And thank you for the support. Thank you for the three months. Welcome on back. Good to have you here. Good to have you here. Not the most productive lands, but we'll make it work. We can use lumber mills. Do I want to find the coast? I don't really. I don't care what's on the coast. I want to know what's going on down here. I want to know the real map. A couple productive tiles. That's good. Can I squeeze in two cities here? Maybe not. <laughs> it's all good. Thank you, John. Okay. Okay. Homesick. Waiting on COVID test results. Yay for cozy Civ Six streams. I heard homesick. Five, France. Ho I heard homesick as in like you're you're missing home. Uh, I'm very sorry that you are actually homesick. Um, that's a bummer. But thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it a lot. This is interesting. This is almost ideal in terms of districting, and we'll we'll get to the why of that in a little bit. When we have a little bit more explored here. I value the double move fairly highly there. Um, So water here, water here. How much do we think this is a peninsula? If I don't explore it now, when, when the heck am I exploring it? I think I should just explore it. Might be a barb camp. Might find a goodie hut. Probably not finding city-state first meets, which is the, the downside of this so far. I think I'm supposed to go and check this out at least. At least take a turn to the hill. And we'll see what's, what's going on. Pop two already. We've got somebody up here and we've got a goodie hut. Um... 
If I move here, I can grab the Goody Hut next turn. If I move here, I might meet a city-state. I think I value the Goody Hut. Just because I know I'm going to get it. Yeah, definitely looking like a peninsula. Foreign trade, I'm not thrilled to see. Uh, again, I want to be conquering civs that are on our continent, ideally. But this might be the kind of start we can pivot away from. We'll see. Brussels, we get the first meet anyways, and we meet Brussels. We don't miss out on anything uh, because we weren't building a or we weren't building a building or a wonder. So that is a nice little first meet. They want the Eureka for craftsmanship, so a couple of tiles uh, is what they're looking for. And we'll we'll start pinning some districts here before too long. I want to I, I want to know what's going on here because I think we might have a, a near perfect like government plaza set up and more spices. How many cities can I get into this area? I don't know, but we're going to find out. How much... Th there's definitely... There's a barb camp over here, right? Like 100%. Alright, we've got our two scouts out. Let's go get working on that settler. Working nice tiles. That's good. Uh, I don't like exploring like this. It's very uh, cumbersome. But I'll deal. Another city-state here. Again, keeping to use, keep using the settler lens. And it will guide your expo exploration. Um, yes. Kind of want to follow the scout to make sure it doesn't find us or that we can kill it. It's very low health. Um, it could it can go and find us now, uh, but I don't. There's not much I can do about that. All right, so that's pottery. I think we go for irrigation immediately. Not good campuses on this uh, on this map, notably. There's 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 one fissure. So maybe we do something up there. I don't think it's actually that good. I don't think Atemanaki is that good on this map, frankly. This is where I want a district. Are you different rivers? Yeah, this... So this is... Oh, no. Oh, good. I only have to dam one river? That's good. So we only need one dam for all these tiles. I was, I was a little bit worried that we'd have a, a second a second river tile there we'd have to worry about, but no. Yeah, exactly, Hero. That's just it. Well, no barb camp, but I'll take the goody hut. I guess, I guess we get a little bit rewarded for our commitment to exploring that little area. Writing is a bummer. Especially because we are about to get the Eureka. Is that Peter? Who's not on our continent? Oh, man. Uh, it is a, pen a peninsula. Looks... Uh, it, it might be Tamar. I, I was thinking it was Russia. Left left None of the above. Oh, I hate you. It's the cap too. There's Rapa. Not a first meet, sadly. Nice cities for us to get, though. I think our first city needs to go up towards him. Ooh, another scout. This one can go north. Hey, flat desert and Mapuche. Nah, it's it's actually a good start. I don't want to get all cynical. We'll fight him. It'll be hard. 
We'll have to we'll have to figure out how to take him down. Cause I am often in a golden age. Candy, candy makes you dandy, and they gave us a, a, a first meet. That's wonderful. Is this really still going? He is not on the same continent, which is really bad for us. Really quite bad for us. And if he plunks a second city down there, I'm going to be pretty sad. Now, if he comes and tries to attack me, it'll be interesting. But we're, we're going to be really weak for a really long time. Why am I going towards writing? I didn't mean to go towards writing. I meant to go towards irrigation. All right, we're pop three here now. It is not wisdom. Ooh, and you have cities, eh? You have both of your cities down, and neither of them came towards me? Is it my birthday? Is it my birthday? I will, I will try to get us to our Pantheon quickly here. Nice. Another first meet on Hunza and another goodie hut. I'll take it. I will take it. We're working all three of our good tiles. I'm getting a I'm getting a builder soon. We also have a motivation to get the craftsmanship boost for Brussels, uh, so I'm probably looking to uh, build a monument next and maybe buy our first builder. Well, that's a little annoying. What do you want? Eureka for wheel? And what do you give me? A warrior? It's the only one on the map right now. I, I This is blowing my mind a little bit, yeah. So where's our first city go with the barbs here now? Really wanted to head up here and settle this. Get an envoy, eh? Yeah, our government plaza potential is 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 here, but I, I I'm not ready to talk about it quite yet. We'll 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 get there. Maybe this is a big. Maybe we can. <laughs> I, I, okay. I mean, I don't know. We've got we got some money there. I could buy a warrior and then go and beat them up with it. I know that's pretty lucky to get two goody huts out of that, and the and the gold is pretty significant. I think I want to buy that builder here in a second while I build a monument. Although clearing this is certainly something I'm interested in. I want the... I'm going with the builder first. And I want this scout to come back around this south region. Okay. All right, so where's the settler go? Maybe just here. Let's start to think about districting and our setup. I don't love this. 
Because I can't easily... Maybe this is City 2? Because it's better overall tiles. And then what if we go here for City 3? Is that 3 tiles? No, it's not. No, it's not. Um, Maybe there? How do I determine which is which is better between buying the monument and buying the builder? I just like that the monument, uh, or I like that the builder is a little cheaper. Why why not settle the spices? I really like working the spice tiles. Um, like this is the one that I'd want to settle, if any, and it's awkward. I mean, we could, I guess, we could settle this and this. I'm thinking about the the plantation pantheon though. Ah, and that's a good point, too. We have a first meet on Brussels, which which is giving me one production towards uh, buildings, work, uh, sorry, wonders, buildings, and districts. So that'll help us build the monument quicker versus we don't have a military first meet, which would boost the, the, uh, the unit. I knew there would be one here. Ooh, and this gets us a galley? And it does not, and it gets us a galley here, right? If it gets, if it puts the galley in this lake, I'm gonna be pissed. But if I get a galley is is good era score. Now there's an argument to not take the era score and fight Mapuchi. Oh, we found Nuna as well. Where's Nuna? Oh, down here. Man, we're once again in a situation where our guard imperial is not gonna have extra combat strength. Maybe I pivot. Maybe we don't do war. If it puts it in the nearest coast tile, it should put it here. Although if it's if it's lake it and it goes here, we might have to for science this. Which means we might save and reload. I'm just very very I don't actually want it right now. I just kind of want to know where it goes. Can we find out? I'll save scum for science. That's a thing I'll do. I want to know. Hi, Hogue. Yeah. Like like I said, I, I, this, this is good. This is good. Didn't go in the lake, thank God. And it goes here. I could just live with this. It's a Pangea, so this isn't that valuable and probably just dies to barbs. I really wanted to buy the builder. That was truly a for science decision. I don't think I actually want this right now. It's it's interesting because it's it's a fair amount amount of error score for us, and we could go maybe meet more first uh, city states and 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 get a lay of the land here. But uh, I I I really just wanted to know where that spawns. So I'll pause the recording while we reload. Hello, YouTubers. Welcome back. Little little bit of for science safe scumming. It is acceptable to do so. Oh, what's our first wonder? Uh, what's our first wonder going to be? I don't know. I don't know. Are we going to pit? Like, is our land good enough that we just want to pivot away and do culture stuff? I really wanted to do domination with with this version of of Catherine. I like, really wanted. That yeah, we could get pyramids in the cap. I did. I don't have the mason. Well, I I technically have the masonry boost. It's just not nearby. So if this is our if this is our setup, If this is our setup, how do we do this?
this? It's bad for science. It's really not great for science. Do a visual ASMR YouTube channel where I just pin districts. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't have to get that industrial zone. Actually, this opens up a better district. Why not? What about this tile makes it not doable? Yeah, different rivers. Son of a gun. Yeah, so this river is not floodable, and therefore I can't. Man, that was going to be the perfect spot for that. How about this instead? That one we can do. What if we move the government plaza down one? Aqueduct is awkward. But now this is a better campus. So is this. This is far better for science. Far better for science. Because we get to take advantage of, of these uh, jungle tiles, basically. These three jungle tiles giving us a couple extra yield here. Give up, give us far better science than the previous setup. I'm missing. Uh, I don't like this. But I might just have to live with it. Because this city does kind of need an aqueduct. Although at that point, why aren't we just back to this? Because it prevents them from getting a commercial hub? No, it doesn't. This can be theirs. A little bit better for gold, better for science. We still get a decent industrial zone. This could be... This could be a lot of things, actually. Um, so I, I don't think I'll need the aqueduct in Paris, then. So then this could be their commercial hub. And we could think about doing a theater square. With, like, Apadana. And we're full-on pivoting away from domination at this point.
Industrial zone to aqueduct and aqueduct to commercial. No, aqueduct to commercial. I, I, why is that? Wait, why is it better? I still have to, I, like, I still have a, a, a government plaza and an aqueduct tile. Do we want to consider appeal more? Probably a little bit more than I've thought about it as well. I don't think I want two industrial zones. I think I like the idea of this one and like a bunch of cities being within its radius. Like at least one over here that's going to be in its radius. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Government Plaza here. I don't like that. Paris doesn't have that many good tiles, believe it or not. And this is one of the few mines we're going to have. Eh, one, two, three, four, five. But that's really not that many for your capital. So I, I think I value this higher than than uh, than I normally would. Normally, it's fine to district on top of a hill or two. Uh, but when you're sort of sparse for hill tiles, you want to be careful. Now we can get we can get lumber mills, we can get other things and stuff. Um, we, we we will have some some level of production. Man, yeah. Uh, speaking of overriding hills, though, this this does make sense for an oracle. Like that. Rur is still good with five hills? I don't think I'd build a five hill Rur ever. You're you're not wrong. It's it's still it's still a good wonder. It makes that city better. I just don't think I don't think I'm doing that. So we do have a campus in the capital, technically. It just sucks. Which is fine. I mean, seriously, like, given the fact that we don't have any... It means I'm not going a faith play. Because I have no good holy sites. And that's a bit concerning if we're going to go for culture. Maybe we just... Maybe we stick on the domination path. Go for all of this stuff anyways. Is the plus one campus worth building? Uh... Probably not. Probably not. It just exists. But this is a cool setup, I think. We waste one government plaza tile. And we could still do domination. Especially if we're focused on gold and science. And then a little bit of culture. Because, like, this becomes a good chateau. This isn't, this isn't a mod, although we are ex uh, running exclamation point mods for all the mods we're running. But you can get the diplomacy ribbon by just going into options, interface, show yields, and HUD ribbon. This can be part of a farm triangle. It's true. Encampments we can place anywhere. What do you mean, why not on freshwater? So, all of this was to say that the second city goes here, right? I'm pretty sure. And there are good other cities we can get, and we will get them, I think. It, it's going to be awkward to get this government tile into our cap. But maybe our cap does... Um, maybe this city becomes our government plaza city. And our cap just tries to work on some wonders. Oh, I can't settle on fresh water because this is too close. So one way or another, I have to settle an off-water city. And I'd rather do it closer to all the floodplains so that if we are going for an aqueduct, it becomes much more valuable uh, to, to get the industrial zone. 
If we're getting Warlord's Throne, don't we need the uh, Plaza and the Cap? Yeah, that's true too. What if I just go for Great Bath? And we say, screw this. <laughs> Can we think about it? Can we think about it? What if we just go for Great Bath? It solves my issue of dam and industrial zone and opens up p potential holy sites, maybe? Typical TGM places one good industrial zone. Exactly. You get me, VB. You get me. There's two. There's two. One, two. Move the eastern city up one and settle the spices? I don't want to do that. I want to work this tile. Okay. Yeah, we'll worry about chateaus later. Um, I want to think about I want to think about Great Bath. Honestly, it, it, we could do this exact same setup with Great Bath. We drop the dam and the industrial zone. We move some things around and get like a better campus, maybe. I am feeling a little like I want to do this. Uh, is that going to be the best setup, though? Because maybe there's a, a world in which I should buy this, build Great Bath, and focus on theater squares. All right. Bear with me. If you don't like this uh, and you're watching on YouTube, you can skip. Skip forward. I'm going to rethink this whole thing, but prioritizing Great Bath. And then we'll go for Great Bath and miss Great Bath and then go back to this setup. The rest of this makes sense. We could put Great Bath where? Uh, Marcus, thank you so much for the prime sub. Welcome on in. Thank you, thank you. And, and my dad says, welcome in. Thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. I appreciate that a lot. Um... Because putting it right here does make sense. Can I do that now? Yeah, I can. Because it's just a rice tile. And I can still farm the corn. So let's think about this. Obviously, we're not building this for, like, the faith on tiles and stuff. But this opens this up. Still need this aqueduct. Fine. I can deal with that. But now we're doing this instead. Oh, thanks, Noah. Yeah, we're, we're working on new art stuff in general for the channel. a cool idea too, Paisley. Where's it go though? Maybe maybe this. And I wind up overriding this anyways. So 
These are decent theater squares. And then it makes this a pretty cool chateau. That's less cool, right? You. Yeah. So for doing this, why am I not considering the government plaza here? I don't know. I, I always forget if chateaus can be built on floodplain. Yes. We're good. We are good. I don't know if I actually like this better than the other setup. I can build one there as well. It's true. It's true. So where am I getting production from in the cap? Frankly, it kind of sucks to override some of these tiles. Rotate the theater squares clockwise. I could probably be talked into that. Not as good, but it also opens up another, like, wonder that could go here and make it better. And that way we keep the hill. I think I like that better. I do think I like that better. Yeah, I still think I want that to be a mine. Play as Rome. Rome is a very fun sieve to learn the game with. Uh, and if you have questions, let us know. Always happy to help people out. I don't love this Colosseum place placement because it doesn't get a northern city to really take advantage of it this way. So what if we thought about it down here? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, then it doesn't matter as much. What if what if we tried for Colosseum here? What would this do in terms of like city placement? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'd have to settle that. I could get a city here and get a get it turn this into a theater square instead. Which might be a good idea. Spend a little less worry on the chateaus. Cause one, two, three, four, five, six. It's not really doing it for me. Maybe this is just a better spot. And we just forget about this. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this could be a city and get hit by the Colosseum here. Obviously, these all would. Uh, one, two. So anything up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's going to be a little bit awkward, but maybe we can get one, two, three, four, and then like five, six, seven. It's not that great. It's honestly not that great. I know I'm spending a lot of time on this, and I'm sorry if I'm boring anybody. But this is this I love city planning, and so I'm just gonna indulge in my joy here. That could be a diplo quarter. I 
It feels weird not to be building. I guess this is triple. This at least has this. You know what? This really needs to be a campus for our cap. I think. So then the cap would get this and this and maybe this. Yeah, we're pretty chill here. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. And I love I love helping teach the game. So truly, if you have questions and you need answers, you're in the right spot. You are in the right spot. So then we're going to get a city up here. Yeah, we've got... Man, this Coliseum allows us to, to settle several Coliseum cities down here. I think that's actually... I, I think I like this. I, I think build around Coliseum. This is what we did back in vanilla Civ 6. Uh, and it was the best thing you could possibly be doing. Why am I not just doing that? We should just build around... Build around the Coliseum. It makes sense to me. Cool. Soccer man, thank you for the gifted sub and welcome on in, CR7. Good to have you. Good to have you. And we'll figure out exact details later once we have some um, some more knowledge. And again, all of this was to say, second city goes next to the spices. Which is fine. So, a big dalliance there. Thanks for indulging me. Yeah, I want hills, I think. Because one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six. We could settle all the way down here and have this be a Coliseum city. Right? Dorothea, thank you for the 19 months. Welcome on back. It's good to have you here. All right, I'm making the play. Let's go. TGMHI time flies. I'm trying for it. I'm trying for it. Thank you, Dorothea. This might be a big mistake. We'll find out. I can't believe my Poochie are in the game. This is somebody else too. It's another oh no, this is a this is a neighbor. Man, they're not on my continent either. I think the difference between this one and the last game seed that we were looking at is that this is this does something without war, and I don't think the other one did. Like our land is good enough to do something else if we want to. I still don't know which direction we're going to go. Fair amount of land below us as well. Korea. Maybe I let you and Mapuchi fight. I'm going to send you a delegation. I know it delays my builder, which I very much wanted. Um, but I, I, I want it less because I overrode that farm, to be honest. But I still want it. Especially, I don't want a hard tech irrigation. Um, What do we need to pair this with, then? Tech-wise. Camp, it doesn't do anything without the government plaza and all the other districts. It's weird not going for religion. I might lock their campus in, though. Let's go for writing. Spearman here, eh? What? Dido is here. Dido's in all my games lately. Start with the monument. You 
Is she on my continent? Uh, it's a fair point. Seems like maybe yes. I like small Pangea maps, generally speaking. Uh, I think they are very consistent. Um, but you can have a lot of fun on Seven Seas, Highlands, Lakes. Uh, these are all good map types. Let's meet him. Hi, Dido. She is on my home continent, so we found a victim, at least. Uh, I think standard game speed is where you want to be. Um, if you want to get into the multiplayer scene at all, you should probably just start by learning online speed. But I think I would default to standard. Normal. Ooh, and it flooded, so we might get uh, some short-term culture from it, or short-term faith. Maybe do some light war into culture. That could be a that could be a plan. That could be a plan. I wanted the city, so we could maybe eventually send it a trade route. All right, uh, that's going to do it. A lot of planning in this video. I know some people like it, some people don't. I'm curious to know how you feel. So if you uh, enjoyed the planning session, let me know. If you hated it, let me know uh, in the comments below. Thank you so much, YouTubers, for watching. I do appreciate it, and we will see you all in the next one.